ego really wants to defend itself. It really wants to. I'm paying close attention. I'm trying to pay close attention to everything that it's moving through. It's certainly been up and down. I think it's, it's wanted to play both roles, that of the victim and that of the villain. It's, it's wanted to play both sides. All of that is feeding it, and I'm just acknowledging that. I'm just observing that. Because the reality is no one is either of those things. No one is victim. No one is villain. All of that is an illusion. Whenever we apply a negative judgment of someone else or of ourselves, a negative judgment is from the ego. It's not the soul casting that. There is no judgment from the soul. The soul is all approving. <laughs> spirit loves everything. And so spirit is even looking at all the roles being played and going, yeah, all right. Let's enjoy this. Let's enjoy what we're doing here. Just do it consciously. Just enjoy it and know that you're enjoying it. Because you are. You are. You're not not having a good time with this. You're just denying yourself that truth. And if you just make that conscious, you just admit radically that there are parts within the self that are playing roles and that the self is happy with all of it. It's not unhappy. It's not upset. It's not judging anybody. It's not judging itself, yourself. It's not judging other self. It sees no flaw here. There's no problem. All this stuff that I could feasibly feel and upset about, soul's not upset about it. All the stuff that someone else could feasibly feel upset about, their soul's not upset about it. There's no upset happening. Similarly, any time that I feel superior or inferior to another, that's all an illusion. That's all ego. That's all made up in the mind. The truth of egoic relating is that we're playing roles for each other and we're enjoying it. And I want to just admit to that. I can feel the deep truth of it resonating through my body. That's lighting me up. Enjoying the drama. Enjoying whichever part of it it is. Feeling affronted. Feeling like the bad guy. Enjoying feeling like the bad guy. Because we all have masochistic and sadistic desires within us we all do denying that is just shoving it into the shadow when we invite the shadow out to play when we make it conscious when we accept that yes these things exist instead of trying to repress them repressing them doesn't make them go away it just makes them express in weird ways that create situations in our life that then we call unwanted. When in reality, that's just a manifestation of unconscious desire. The desire to experience pain, to feel pain inflicted upon you, that sensation, the desire to inflict, potentially, pain. Although I appreciate the definition of sadism as not necessarily the desire to inflict pain, but sensation. The desire to be felt. That's in there. 
the desire for power, for control, those things are in there. What good does it do to pretend that they're not? To deny that they exist? They exist. They're in there. <laughs> And there is one thing that liberates, and that is the truth. The truth is liberating. Pretending does nothing, does nothing for me. And everything that has happened I am very much aware that there is a part of me that wanted to be a victim and and taking time to acknowledge and hold that part and not tell it that it's wrong either while holding an awareness that no one is wrong there is no victim there's no perpetrator Everything that happens in my reality, I create. I call upon myself. It's given permission by my desire for it. How could I be a victim of something that I asked for? I get that's controversial. That's the point. Not to create controversy. Because certainly, that's a part of ego too. Desires perhaps to stir things up to be condemned again to to play the villain but i just want to radically honestly witness what's happening within and without and not judge anybody for it because judgment is useless judgment is utterly pointless that's the mechanism of ego that paints us into different camps in, as opposition. It creates the illusion of good guy and bad guy when there's just people, there's just soul, there's just Buddha, there's just source. There is just the infinite divine self. That's it. There's nothing else. And so all of this great drama that I find myself amidst is no drama at all. It's all just made up. It's just made up stuff. It's just a game. It's a theatrical production. There is nothing serious going on here. There's nothing for anybody to feel bad about. Feeling bad accomplishes nothing. You're supposed to feel bad in order to be good, and if you don't feel bad, then you should feel bad for not feeling bad. <laughs> when all that we want is to feel good, and if we just choose to feel good on our own without somebody else's permission, oh, if we give ourselves permission to feel good, and we're not relying on someone else's permission, then we're bad then we're dangerous. You didn't ask my permission to feel good. I didn't tell you you were good and therefore could feel good. You did that without asking me. When it's all that we want anyway is to feel good. And if we stop giving other people the power to control that within us, by saying we have to have their approval, we have to have their permission, they have to sign off on our good feeling. And then if they don't, what happens? We get angry, we get bitter, we get resentful, we get more deeply entrenched in this oppositional identity of me versus you, us versus them. If we just realize, oh, I don't need anything from you to feel good. I don't need you to change. I don't need you to suddenly start approving of me. I don't need you to sign off on my joy. I can just choose to feel good. Do the dangerous thing. The thing that removes me from egoic relation. 
that removes me from this endless cycle of manipulating to try to get something because I don't need to get anything. I have what I want. I gave it to myself. Permission to feel good. I give myself permission to feel good. Oh. Yeah. That feels good. And in fact, everybody has that permission within themselves. They don't need it from me. Nobody needs my permission and they don't need me to change to feel good. I don't need that from anyone else. Now, guess what? We're all free to be our authentic selves. <laughs> because your behavior is your behavior and it's allowed to be what it is. I don't care. <laughs> it's, it's you. Do you. It's not better or worse. It's just what it is. And I am just me. We are not in competition. We're not in conflict. There's nobody who's better or less than. How could there be? One equals one. Does one ever not equal one? We're the same self. We are equal. That's it. We are equal in power. We're equal in value, which is inherent. Worthiness, which is inherent. All of these things. There's no competition here. I do think there's a part of me that likes being the bad guy because it, it really, I have not ever given that part permission to come into the light, to be conscious. Again, that exists in everyone. We just deny it. We deny it. But giving this part permission to come to the forefront and take its weird, freaky, kinky, twisted pleasure in being perceived as the bad guy. That feels good. That feels true. That feels honest. That feels authentic. There's no lie there. There's no moral grandstanding. There's no pretending to be something that I'm not. There's pleasure there. And I'm going to let myself have it. I'm going to give myself permission for that. Ego's consciously shaming it. I can hear that too. Because that's what ego does. Shames. That's how shadow is created. By these parts being shamed. Into submission. They don't go away. They just get hidden. I want to bring them out. I want to be all of the parts. I want to be holy me. That's really what I want. I don't want to be liked. Ego does. Oh yeah, ego would like that. So I'm going to acknowledge that there's pleasure in that too. We'll say it this way. I don't need to be liked. Ego would maybe feel a different word there. Craving. I don't need to be liked. What I really, really got to do to feel good is be me. That's it. Is just be me. And I will let that play out in all the ways that it plays out in being liked and not being liked and being received and being rejected. All parts of that can be pleasing to me. I feel that they are. <laughs> I feel I feel a sensation in my body. And truth is sensational. It's a lighting up. It's pleasurable. So that's it. I just want to be really honest with myself about the truth that so many parts of me are enjoying this situation. And I'm going to let them. <laughs> and no one has done any wrong. There is no wrong. Nobody is wrong. There is nobody to blame. <clears throat> nobody is the bad guy. 
There are no bad guys. There are no bad guys. We make up roles and we play them for ourselves and for each other. And all of it is allowed. All of it's allowed. And the whole time, spirit, source, divine, is just smiling and laughing and enjoying all of it. So that's it. I mean, the true forgiveness is realizing there's nothing to forgive because nothing has gone wrong. There has been no trespass. The realization that there is no flaw in all of this. And there isn't. There is not one single flaw. There is no problem. There is no issue. There is no war. There's no war. There's nothing to fight against. Everything is moving the same direction. Everything is working towards the same end. Existence, being, feeling good. Being present to feel good. Those things. That's it. <laughs> there is nothing serious happening here. There's nothing else going on here. It's just what it is. So I'm going to let myself enjoy playing this role of bad guy. Because I have never done that. I've never, that's a deeply repressed part of self. It's always been this racing to fix, to prove, to get back to the standing of good, to regain my comfort in feeling morally superior, morally secure. I'm better than somebody who didn't do these things, essentially. Owning really, really truly right now that I don't feel sorry. I don't feel sorry. I don't feel sorry for anything that's happened to me. I don't need an apology. I have not been abused. <laughs> I haven't. I'm not a victim. Everything that's happened has been a part of co-creation, my creation, permission, asking, and receiving. Nobody's hurt me. Nobody's done wrong. There is nothing to be punished or repent for. None of that. I don't need any of that. I don't want any of that. And the same is true for me. <laughs> <There is. laughs> That's just what it is. If I sound like the crazy person, I sound like the crazy person. That's okay. That'll satisfy a part of ego, I'm sure. And if I don't sound crazy, then that's okay too. None of it matters. None of it matters. What matters is that I liberate myself. With the realization that nothing has actually happened. Everything just is and is well. Everyone's desires are being fulfilled. Including especially mine. Absolutely mine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm letting myself enjoy this. <laughs> and I think that's it. That's it. All is well. Everybody gets to feel what they feel and they get to enjoy feeling it because at some level they are. They're just not letting themselves. And I have been. I just wasn't letting myself. And now I'm choosing to let myself enjoy this sensation. Life is always stroking you on exactly the spot that you want to be stroked. It's just a matter of tuning into that.
it's pretty damn empowering and liberating and feels good and that's all any of us want anyway is to feel good and when i don't need other people's permission for that they're free they're free they don't have to do anything they don't have to change they can go on being exactly who they are and not seeking my permission either because they don't need it or anybody's we all get to feel good just give yourself the permission to do so that's it ego's gonna fight it oh yeah he's gonna fight it big time because then it loses control if you're giving yourself permission to just feel good then what's its role what the hell is it gonna do it's been trying to fight for scraps of good feeling all of this time and you suddenly are not playing that game anymore it goes excuse excuse me get back over here over here, where we were doing the, the struggle and the drama thing. Because that's my world. And if you don't inhabit it, then there's nothing there. <laughs> then the whole production falls apart. If you realize that nothing bad has ever happened to you or anybody, then this whole dramatic production collapses on itself. <laughs> right in the middle. Right in the middle of it. Of course it doesn't want that. <laughs> How embarrassing. All of this stuff is made up, all of these troubles and drama and woe, all made up. I could just feel good the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, you could. Yeah, I could. I'm choosing to. I'm choosing to allow myself pleasure. Deep, <laughs> sensual pleasure in the present moment, in everything exactly as it is. And that feels good. That feels good. It's still there, and I'm gonna hear it, I'm sure. But I know that it's just trying to drag me away from bliss, away from power, back into giving my power away again. 2222, just saw. Anyway, we have the power to feel good. That is our power. We don't need anybody's permission ever for that. Stop asking other people's permission to feel good and stop expecting other people to ask your permission. They get to feel good all on their own. It has nothing to do with you. Absolutely nothing. When we start owning our own pleasure and nobody else is responsible for it, we're responsible for our entire experience and we take that responsibility while simultaneously releasing any responsibility over anyone else's experience. We are not beholden to one another. There's no more bondage here. We are free, sovereign selves, self-serving, self-satisfied, self-sustained. And then we get to walk around the world as liberated whole beings, just interacting. How different the world looks then. Everything is love. Everything is bliss. So it is. 